Hello everyone, uh, Tim here with a quick review of the new Blu-ray for Passengers, the sci-fi movie starring Chris Pratt and Jennifer Lawrence. Um, so if you don't know what this movie's about, the movie's basically, uh, they're on this mission to colonize another planet. Uh, they're supposed to be asleep for like, I think it's like 120 years. And Chris Pratt, due to a malfunction, wakes up about 90 years early through this voyage and um, has to decide whether or not to wake anybody else up. Um, and then once he does do that, you know, him and uh, Jennifer Lawrence's relationship uh, after him basically ruining her life. So that's the general synopsis of the movie. Um, and there's no spoilers there. That's all in the first 20 minutes of the movie. Um, so first off, my thoughts on the movie itself. I liked it. I thought it was entertaining. Um, it's an interesting movie. It's not going to be your big Oscar movie from Jennifer Lawrence or anything like that, but it's fun. It's worth a watch. Um, so I bought the 4k ultra HD 3d shebang a bong version of this. And, um, I just watched the 3d Blu-ray of it and I'm actually pretty impressed. Uh, the 3d is really good on this one. And I found that most Sony Blu-rays, which this movie was put out by Sony, um, have really good 3d quality on their Blu-rays. So I was super impressed by the 3d right away. I was like, wow, this, this looks really good. And I saw it in 3d in the theater and I thought it was fine, but for an at home Blu-ray release, the 3d is really good. So if you like 3d Blu-ray and you watch 3d at home, I would recommend picking up the 3D version, um, which comes with the normal 2D one as well. And um, I didn't watch all of the 2D one, uh, but I, you know, I fast forwarded around, checked it out, and the quality is just as good, if not better, on the regular 2D one and the 4K. Um, that's about it, though, in the realm of special features. There's not really a lot. There's a couple making ofs, but they're, you know, five minutes long. There's a on how they casted the few people that are in the movie, which was kind of interesting, but not really. Uh, the best thing there is the blooper reel, which, because you've got Chris Pratt, you know, he's, he's pretty funny. So there's some good bloopers. There's also a director commentary, um, and a couple like special effects, um, featurettes, but again, they're only like five, six minutes long. So nothing too exciting in the realm of bonus features. When you add everything up, it's about, 30 minutes maybe, which is pretty disappointing for a movie like this. You would think that there would be a lot of on the making of, but there's not, and that's okay. The movie's pretty entertaining alone. Um, so for this one, I'm not going to recommend it only because there's, you know, just the movie, a couple bonus features. It's not a must buy at full price. If you can find it in the bargain bin, if you can find it uh, to rent, I would do that because I think the movie's worth watching. Um, if you're a big fan of 3D, then I would probably pick it up because you'll enjoy watching that. But otherwise, for the casual viewer, um, this one is definitely like a wait till it goes down to like $14.99 type of purchase. Um, and that's all about uh, all I have to say about this one today, passengers. So, uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the movie, first of all, and if you're going to pick up the Blu-ray. And then, uh, hit that subscribe button, click that like button, and until next time, have a good one, guys.